Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make this video because I always get a lot of questions about my hair. Like, how do I maintain it this color? How do I keep it healthy and stuff like that? I asked you to send me some questions on Instagram. I'm gonna answer them all. But first, let me tell you my whole routine. So my hair today is like slightly wavy. I didn't do anything to it because I don't even own a curler. Honestly, I don't even know how to use one. But how I got it to look like this instead of the frizzy mess that it usually looks like when I get out of the shower, well, is this product called the No Blow Dry. So it's from Redken. I got the one that's for coarse wild hair. So what you do is you take a tiny little bit, about this much, after you've washed your hair, I let it air dry for a little bit, leave it a little bit damp, and then I put this all through my hair and I start to like twist it slightly. Twist it, twist it, twist it. And then I just go to bed. I sleep with it like this. And then when I wake up, it kind of looks like this. Later on, I'll be putting on some serum to make sure it doesn't feel as coarse as it does. How do I wash my hair? Heads up, I don't wash it every single day. It takes up too much time, strips the color really, really fast, and it's actually not that healthy for your hair or your scalp. So I try and drag it as long as possible. The most I've been able to drag it is a whole seven days. Sounds scary, but I'm gonna tell you how I do it. So say, today I'm washing my hair. I will take this shampoo. I use a lot of different ones for the initial shampoo, which gets out all the oil, all the gunk, all the product in my hair makes it easier for the other shampoo to wash. Right now I'm using this one because I like that it lathers up. It says it's 0% parabens, which is also really, really good. And it's really cheap. I found it in Guardian. Then I follow up with this. This is where the color saving comes in. This shampoo is a color shampoo. It's literally red. It will stain your towels if you're not careful. It will stain your fingernails, but it keeps your hair a gorgeous red. They have it in blue, they have it in green, pink, purple, silver, ton of different colors. Every time I buy this, it's a different packaging with a different brand. I don't know why, but they're all made in Taiwan and they work the best. So this is the one that I'm using right now. Of course, I'm gonna leave all the products in the description box below. And then I move on to the treatment. My treatment is also color treated. If you wash your hair more frequently, you can actually alternate between a normal treatment or a conditioner and then the next time you wash, you use a color. But because I don't do that, I go straight into this. This is my favorite. So this is also the same thing. It's always a different brand, but it's all made in Taiwan and it all works the same way. Problem is, I only know where to get this back in Sabah. Cindy from Cuts Gallery orders it for me. It's from SK Trading. It costs 102 ringgit. If you can get this, it makes your hair super, super, super soft. But if you're in KL, well, you can always get the Lakme Technia Ultra Red Treatment. They also have the shampoo, 99 ringgit from Shins. Just a disclaimer, none of these products are sponsored. I got them all by myself. Looks like that. Okay, that looks gross. <laughs> it doesn't leave my hair as soft, but it definitely adds more color. I leave it on for about three minutes. Usually my hair wash day is when I do body scrubs and everything. So I just leave it on while I do all that. Then I rinse it out. It will stain your towels. It will wash out, but don't use a white towel. Be careful not to get it on the walls. If you do get it on the walls, make sure to wash it off straight away. After all that's done, if I am not in a lazy mood, I will actually straighten my hair because I prefer it straight. This is my hair dryer. I definitely suggest using a high power one. After that, I brush through with my tangled teaser. Looks like this. And then I apply a heat protectant. Right now I'm using this one from Alterna. It's the Bamboo Smooth Anti-Breakage Thermal Protectant. Only issue I have with these is they're quite pricey. You can get them in Sephora. So if anyone has any cheaper heat protectants that work really, really well, drop me a comment and let me know. You'll be a lifesaver. So after I've sprayed this all over my hair, I'll go down my hair with this. I don't even know whether I'm doing this right, but this works for me, okay? So I go down my hair, tie it up into half. So I'll get like right above my ear, tie it up in a bun, separate the two here, and then go in with my straightener. So I'm using the GHD, heats up really well. I usually do each section like twice and it's perfectly straight. It is a little bit pricey and I'm sure other straighteners work just as well. I have a ton of hair, so it's really thick by strand and also by volume. So I have to section at least three times. For each section, I will go back to this, straighten it, go down twice, put it to the back, until I finish my whole head. For people with thinner hair, you can probably just section two, 
three times. Mine can take around 45 minutes to straighten, so no blow dry is a lifesaver. Once all that is done, I go into the serum. Right now I'm using the Moroccan oil. It works wonders because it immediately makes your hair really, really smooth. I take one squirt, warm it up, and get it through my fingers. And then I go down one half of my hair. And especially on the ends, because those are the driest. So you can kind of see the difference actually straight away. It's like more shiny. It's actually softer to touch. Because this side I have more hair because of my party. I go in with one and a half. Same thing, warm it up. Why I don't put it on the roots is the hair up here is already healthier. It's not as old as the hair down here. And also if you put it up on top, you are gonna have to wash your hair very, very soon. Like the next day or already, but already almost finished, which I'm really sad about. Because it's not available in Malaysia, so I'll give you an update on which one I changed to once it is finished. Okay, so day one, I just washed my hair. Day two, it's absolutely fine. I can go to sleep. I don't have to do anything to it. Depending on the weather and what I've been doing, day three will be fine or I will already have to be using a dry shampoo. So the one I'm using now is this one. It's a brand new one that came in to Sephora. The packaging is amazing. This is the tester size. It's from IGK. It's called Direct Flight Multitasking Dry Shampoo Medium Cleanse Level. But I don't think this one works as well. Like I have to put a lot on my hair before it kind of soaks up the oil. One that I really like that is already finished is this one, the Way Hair Care Dry Shampoo. So I would definitely go for this one if you've got the money. This is also expensive, over 100 ringgit. The other one is Percy and Reed. That one's really nice as well, the Dry Invisible Shampoo. If you want a cheaper version, the Watson's ones are really, really good. It's only like 29.90 per bottle. So this will be used either on day three or day four, depending on my hair. On the fifth day, I will probably either wear a cap or I'll wash my hair already. So every four to five days, I'll wash my hair and repeat this whole process again. Okay, so now that you know my hair care routine, you gave me questions on my Instagram. The first question, what is your suggestion for someone who has never colored their hair before? So for me, I started slow. I did a normal color and then I went into highlight, which did not require me to bleach my hair. Then I went full up crazy. Go out, experiment, figure out what you want, try it, and then figure out whether it suits you or not. I always wanted blue hair, but I realized that it doesn't look as good on me. Like, it looks like I have colored hair. Whereas if I've got red hair, it looks more natural on my face. So I love Pravana. That's a brand that I would go to for color. This one right now is from L'Oreal. It's a little darker. Go and see which color looks better on you. I do have a friend, Samantha, shout out to you. She looks amazing with really light blonde hair or really blue hair. Everything will work differently for different people. If you want to go straight into fashion colors, maybe try highlights first. Also find a salon that you really, really trust for doing this kind of thing. I would definitely suggest researching because I've seen instances where color can go very, very wrong. Bleach damage is a real thing. You don't want to go through that, trust me. Pay a little bit more and be happy with the results rather than pay slightly less and then regret it. You know what I mean? Question two, how to keep colored hair so vibrant and healthy? Well, I go to the salon regularly for touch-ups and I, of course, use all the red shampoo and the red treatment that keeps it vibrant. If I don't use the red treatment or the red shampoo, it fades really, really fast. So I'll get like patchy white spots. Another tip is don't have your water super hot. So I keep it kind of lukewarm when I wash my hair. Kind of preserves the color as well. I really like the Olaplex treatment. Again, a little bit pricey, but if you're committing to this kind of color, you kind of have no choice. Don't you feel pain when you bleach your hair? For me, no, it's been pretty okay. Like the most will be probably a little bit itchy or I'll feel it's kind of hot when they're doing the bleach. I've been able to tahan a little bit better than a lot of people. My brother has very sensitive scalp. When he tried to bleach his hair, it went all red and it stung a lot. So if you are worried about that, don't bleach right to the roots. Another tip is before you go for your appointment, don't wash your hair for at least two days and no scratching. Like try and not touch your hair at all. The layer of oil that will form on your scalp will actually serve as like a protectant against the bleach so it won't sting as much. I'm 19 and I want to color my hair ash brown. Is it too early and should I go for something that doesn't require bleaching? It depends. If you're in college or uni, does your college or uni allow you to have this kind of crazy hair? If you're working, does your workplace allow you to? I've been lucky enough 
that I've been the entertainment line for all my life and I don't have these strict rules that a lot of other industries would have. Let's say for like my brother, he works in marketing, he can only go brownish. You wouldn't be able to do anything crazy like this. Where did you bleach your hair? Cuts Gallery in Kota Kinabalu in Sabah has been my go-to since the beginning of time. They've always taken amazing care of my hair. I definitely recommend going there. Look for Cindy, by the way. One of the best colorists in the business, and I mean in the whole entire country. She is amazing. Shout out to you. But now that I'm in KL, I am going to Sean Cutler. I go to the one in Bangsar in Talawi Square. If you are looking to do your hair there, look up Gibson, Ray, and also Amy. They're really good with my hair so far. I also went to the branch in Bukit Damasara. If you're nearer to that end of town, look for Raymond. He was amazing with my hair, Raymond Chu. I'll leave all their links down below as well. And last question, do you like guys who color their hair? If you look good with red hair, cool. If you look good with black hair, cool. If they look good, they look good, you know what I mean? I don't care about that kind of thing. I'm not that picky. So if you have any other questions, make sure to leave them in the comment box down below or drop me a message on Instagram. All my links are down there. Please do follow me, subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up if this has helped you. I'll see you in the next video.